it is March 19th. I'm heading for my workout and uh, it's going to be a pretty day, sunny, blue skies and in the 50s. Tomorrow is the first day of spring. So I'm going to go get my workout done for the day and then maybe get some groceries because we were out of town this past weekend visiting Mark and Tony in Michigan. We had such a great weekend. So all right, let me get my seatbelt on and I get to uh, my trainers. All right, I'm done with my workout. I'm gonna head into the grocery store and get the groceries for the week. Uh, I am on a boot camp, you guys. I really truly have to get myself back into uh, into being healthy um, and uh, get on track. Morgan's wedding is in six weeks, so by the time you guys see this, it'll be like I don't know, four weeks. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna go get some groceries. I'm gonna show you a lot of good healthy meals this week. So uh, if you want to get on the stick here for the spring summer. Hopefully this will be a good vlog for you. So, all right, the dreaded grocery store, off I go. All right, I'm home from the grocery store and I thought I would share uh, my grocery haul with you. Uh, I think I got some really good, healthy things to start off the week, so let me share. Okay, so here I've got um, my, of course, my veggies and fruits. I got some chives. We're gonna have this in a recipe that we're gonna share. You guys would have already seen it, um, seen the recipe. I've got some baby spring mix. And I got some spinach and arugula blend. I love these for my salads. Of course, the bananas. And some blueberries. I love orange slices, you guys know, in my water. I love these little cherry tomatoes. My celery, which I'm gonna like, put my um, PB2 on for a snack. I love asparagus. These sweet peppers, I just put these in all kinds of meals and stir fries. It's gonna be a recipe I'm gonna share this week and I'm gonna put these in. I'm gonna cut up my peppers so I have these available when I need a snack. And my apples, I'm gonna have these along with some string cheese as a snack as well. Of course, a red onion for the recipe that I'm gonna make this week. Eggs, I'm gonna do my ground turkey. And I'll share my recipe that I think I've talked about this before that I love to have and just even throw on a salad or, or you know, just with some veggies. My Southern Lady magazine. I love this magazine, it's so pretty. Uh, my little turkey sausages, I'm gonna have this this morning for breakfast. I got a butterball, um, this is a turkey breast roast. I'm gonna put this in the um, crock pot this week for a delicious, healthy recipe. Uh, I love these Green Giant rice veggies uh, for stir fries. Mashed cauliflower, oh my goodness, so good. Um, I have another one from Bird's Eye. And then check these out, you guys, veggie tots, cauliflower. So I can't wait, I've not tried these. I can't wait to try these out. Okay, and over here I've got some yogurt. I'm using this for a recipe. You guys, again, would have already seen. Same with the feta. I love my Greek yogurt. Got my vanilla biscotti. You guys know how much I love that. Mark loves his French roast. Kind bars, because I love kind bars. Just to throw in my purse, the ones with low sugar. Tulips, I'm gonna put those in the vase. These delicious hot peppers, any kind of hot peppers, wanna put these in a recipe you guys are gonna see this week. And calamala olives for something else that we're making and my creamer. So there is my grocery haul. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, cut my peppers, make my breakfast. I'll share with you guys my breakfast. And then uh, I've got a lot of comments to reply to. And uh, Get ready for this week's videos. So I'll check in here a little bit later. You guys, real quick, my secret to delicious egg whites. Add some fresh chives, a little bit of uh, like onion powder, salt and pepper. That is it. And I got one of my Johnsonville little turkey sausages I just stuck in the microwave. So yum, yum. I'm going to go eat. All right, so I'm trying out a recipe from the old Weight Watchers cookbook, and this is roasted beet and carrot salad, and I love beets, and I love roasted carrots, so let me show you the recipe, and I hope this is good. I'll tell you what, though, cutting or peeling the beets look like a bloodbath in my kitchen. My hands are a little bit red, so I had to scrub them right away, and when I went to cut the other beet, I actually wore um, a Ziploc baggie on my hands because that's how bad it was, but let me show you the recipe. All right, so it's roast beet, roasted beet and carrot salad. This is the recipe from this uh, Weight Watcher cookbook that I had gotten last year. So let me show you. I've got the beets uh, quartered here, and some with the carrots. Put them just in a tad of olive oil. I'm gonna roast these at 375 uh, for about a half an hour. The vegetables are done. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. So here's the carrots, here's the beets. And then I prepared the dressing. 
when you pour half of the dressing on the carrots, half on the beets while they're warm. I'm gonna toss them around just a little bit and a little bit later I will get the salad together and we'll put this all together. But my goodness, it looks so good. I mean, I love the color. Look at the color. This is a perfect salad for entertaining. And here is the salad. Isn't that just so beautiful? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to dig in, you guys. So good and so healthy. And actually very appealing to the eye as well. Okay, you guys, dinner for myself tonight because Mark has a meeting tonight. I just got ground turkey with a little teriyaki sauce, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Um, I got some asparagus I cooked in the oven. And these are those uh, cauliflower tots. So I'll let you know what I think about them uh, after I try them out. But it looks really good. Not as colorful as my lunch, but nice and healthy. Dinner was fabulous. Those cauliflower tots, you guys, were so delicious. And at first I thought, mm, I wonder if I should have a little ketchup, which does have sugar in it, you know, to dip them in. They taste so good, you don't want to do anything. So all I ate was the ground turkey and the asparagus and uh, the tots cauliflower tots two thumbs up love them okay i'm gonna shower i've been so busy working i'm gonna call it a night and i'll check in with you guys tomorrow good morning happy tuesday sitting here making my coffee and then i'm gonna oops sorry and then i'm gonna shower up lauren and i are filming three videos today for you guys one we have to get out or i have to edit so fast and get out tomorrow uh so and in the meantime, I went ahead and got dinner started in the crock pot. So I'm going to share with you guys what I did. Now, this was a recipe that Deb, my trainer, shared with me. So I can't wait to try it out. But I already have everything in the crock pot. So I'm going to show you what I did. All right, you guys. All I did was just cut up some of these. I love these mini sweet peppers. They are so delicious and tasty. And then I have these hot peppers. Now, this is from a local cafe, from Mars Cafe 422. But any kind of hot peppers will do and then all I did was get a butter ball a turkey breast a frozen one threw it in here threw the peppers all the peppers in here now of course there is a string around uh, the turkey breast because it's frozen so once this cooks off I will pull that off so I'm gonna have this cooking on low and uh, for the day so we'll see what it tastes like but uh, Deb says she swears it is so delicious all right I am showered up and ready for Lauren to come over um, let's see if you guys would have seen these videos yet. Yeah, she would have. The uh, we are filming the Alta 21 Days of Beauty, and uh, we have a video for you. We're gonna do the uh, Vanderpump Rose along with us, uh, this delicious kind of a nachos. And uh, what's the other one? Oh, lipstick cocktails. So uh, yes, this is, this is one of them. So I hope if you guys haven't watched those videos, be sure to check those out. And one thing I wanted to share with you guys today, I saw on the news on the, on the Today Show, they were talking about Mr. Rogers, they're coming out with a documentary. Did I ever share with you that I was actually in a Mr. Rogers book? When I worked for the airlines, um, the uh, customer service manager uh, for the airlines at the time uh, contacted me and said he wanted me to be in Mr. Rogers' book, and I was very honored. I was a pretty new employee at the time, so let me show you guys. You're going to get a kick out of this. Okay, so here's the book. That is me with a perm. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, in my uniform. And then here is me on the other picture. <laughs> that is so funny. Look how skinny. Oh my goodness. Okay, and the book is called By Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood Going on an Airplane. So there, there you have it. A little Karen trivia. Thought I'd check in with you guys. Lauren just left. My goodness, we uh, filmed three videos today. And I edited two of them. I'm going to be... Finishing up the second, actually, before I get the third done. And the dinner is still cooking. It smells and looks really good. And oh my gosh, if you guys watched the video that we did um, with the Greek nachos and the sangria, let me show you. Lauren and I were digging in today. I cannot wait for Mark to get home and try these out. So let me show you. Oh my goodness. So good. So I'm going to be nibbling on these while I finish dinner. And I'll show you. There's dinner. So the turkey is cooked up and with some the peppers. I think I'm gonna make um I don't know. 
maybe stuffing for him and the uh, cauliflower tots again for myself or the cauliflower mashed potato. Well, they're not potatoes, but cauliflower mashed. So I have stuff everywhere from filming. So I'm going to clean up all of our mess and then uh, get dinner started. Well, it started, but just uh, get the sides all ready. So Mark should be home any minute now and I can't wait to hear what he thinks about these nachos. I wanted to show you guys, look how delicious this looks. Honestly, I took a sneak little taste and it tastes wonderful. And this is my uh, broccoli, not broccoli, so I cauliflower mashed. So I'll let you know how I like it. Good morning, happy Wednesday, second day of spring. And yes, look what we woke up to. We've got about I don't know, four or five inches of snow out here, you guys, and it's still coming down. Yes, second day of spring. Oh, this is so depressing. All right, guys. Well, as you guys saw in the earlier footage, we got pounded with snow today. And uh, so I've been just really just putzing around the house and playing with new makeup. So I'm gonna show you the makeup that I have on today. Um, lighting is just horrible, but I had fun with it. And uh, why not when it's snowy, you're sort of stuck inside. I don't know, the roads are starting to clear, so I may try to head out just to get out of the house for a little bit. Maybe this is a little bit better. So uh, I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, got the fireplace on, cause it is cold. I'm gonna take Archie out, he just rang the bell. And then I'll go show you guys uh, what I played with today, the makeup. And uh, just wanted something a little pinkier lip and a little uh, kind of orangey, brownish, copperish eyes. So I'll show that here with you in a minute. All right, guys, Mark's actually home and he's doing some work. So I thought I'd come in here and share with you the makeup that I played around with today and this look again the lighting's not too good but i apologize for that so maybe this is a little bit better all right so let me show you what i played with um yeah i just had a, i had fun <laughs> what else do you do on a snowy day okay so the palette that i use today is this one by morphe and this is the 350 so if you guys have this palette you'll see i sort of started off with this under the brow and then i went with this shade and the crease deepened it a little bit here and then um, I added a little bit of this on top. And then I, the outer V, I sort of just mixed these two so it wasn't so dark. And then I put this on my lid. And then I thought, well, that wasn't good enough. I wanted a little bit of a glitter, so a little glitz. So I'd added the Stila, and this is the rose gold. I love this stuff on my lid. And then blush-wise, I went with the NARS Dolce Vita. And then lipstick, I went with the back top. We, talk, we had a video last week and Lauren talked about it. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love that stuff. Let me pull it back out. So I pulled this one out and then I actually just topped it a little bit with this shade here that came in my Fab Fit Fun box. Such a pretty shade and this is by uh, Ish. And then of course, uh, Luminizer. I love this one. You guys know how much I love the Mary Luminizer. So, so that is, uh, whoops, let me let it focus here. Uh, my makeup look today. Yeah, my makeup look today. So what do you do on a snowy day? You watch breakfast at Tiffany's. Or you drink a delicious glass of rosé. Good morning, happy Thursday. Well, yesterday was quite uneventful. Um, we never left the house. We had breakfast for dinner. Then we watched Breakfast at Tiffany's, which I love, love, love that movie. I love Audrey Hepburn so much. So uh, that was fun. That was like a nice, relaxing evening. So now today, uh, the snow is still here, but the roads are all cleared up. Got my coffee. I'm having my Norwax party tonight, finally. So I get to share with you guys these amazing products. I'm gonna be cleaning with them today to get ready for the party. Uh, and I gotta figure out what I'm gonna make for everybody yet. So I'm gonna look through some of my magazines and figure out something good and healthy, sort of springy. Get us into the spring mode, even though it sure doesn't look like it outside. So I'm gonna shower up a little bit, well, in a little bit, and then hit the grocery store. So um, I'll let you know what I come up with. So yeah. 
I'm gonna look at my magazines and I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit and enjoy my coffee. Thought I'd share my breakfast, you guys. This is one of my favorite smoothies. First of all, I love this skinny girl. Um, this is for smoothies. This thing is so simple and easy, so lightweight. So all I do is I put some of my Premier Protein, whatever flavor, I chose banana. I love all these so much. Um, I put a tablespoon of the PB Fit and just a little bit of Greek yogurt, ice, some fresh blueberries, and there you have it. Tastes delicious, almost like um, a sundae with the banana, a little peanut butter, and the berries. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. This is my breakfast. All right, guys, I'm all showered up. I had to finish fluffing up my hair. I was so hungry. I wanted to stop real quick and grab something to eat. Let me tell you, that leftover turkey breast is amazing. You guys, it was so good. That's going to be a staple in my household. Mark loved it too. And then remember on Monday, I made the roasted beets and carrots. So literally, I'm eating both of those cold right now because that's how good they are. Let me show you. And I literally just pulled these out of the fridge and I'm just eating out of the container. So here's the leftovers of the, um, the turkey breast with the peppers. And I got a little bit of carrot and beets left. Just eating the two of these. And so that is lunch today. I love it so much. I'm going to finish fluffing up my hair. Get a sweater on because it's cold. Get to the grocery store and uh, get the stuff that I need for my party tonight. So I think I'm just going to have hummus and veggies. Um, a little kind of a cocktail and some fruit. Nice and healthy and simple. So I'm going to hurry up and get ready because it's already 1.40 and I've got so much to do yet. But I cleaned all morning so at least that's all done. So alright I'll touch base with you guys either at the store or when I get back. You know what, you guys, I forgot today is the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Buxom $10. So, I, gosh, I hope they're not sold out already. It's two, $2.15. So, I'm going to run in, and hopefully they have some. Then I'm going to run to Target and pick up some snacky foods for my party. The sun's out. Still a lot of snow, but, like, the roads are completely clear. It's been so good getting out of the house today, you guys. You know me. I'm not one to sit around. That drove me crazy for the last few days. So, I'm really glad to be out, even though it's cold, but the sun's out. So, and uh, yeah, all to 21 days. Let's see if I can get some buxom. All right. I was lucky enough to get my two favorites um, pink champagne and white Russian. So excited. And Emily Noel was talking about this, and I thought I would give this a try. It's by Garnier Skin Active, it's the BB cream. And I got the one that's not for oily skin because I don't have oily skin. Now, I thought it came in um, medium dark or something like that. Um, all they had at Alta was light medium, so I'm going to give it a try. And I figure if it's too light, I can always mix it with something else. And uh, Emily Noel really loves it. So I thought, why not? If she said it says it's good, it's got to be good. So, all right, off to Target to get some goodies. And then I'm going to go home and start preparing for my party. So I'm excited. Hopefully, girl, I, mean, I hope everybody comes. I don't have only having like six people so uh, but it'll be fun always fun to have a girls get together and especially to learn a little bit more about uh, these cool products that make cleaning actually fun <laughs> all right I'm going to show you what I picked up from Target and actually a pair of shoes that came in the mail today they are so on trend you guys are going to want these and actually I bought a black different type pair when I we were in and in, in Ann Arbor last weekend and my other pair from a different company actually I got these from DSW they keep selling out um, and they just came today so let me show you the shoes first and I'll show you uh, the food that I got for today's party and then I'll show you the recipes okay so these are the first pair of shoes that I got this weekend in Ann Arbor they're like a kind of a suede and I love the heel on these I think they are so cool you guys all right, sorry, I had to stop there for a second. Okay, anyway, so I love the wedge heel on these. Look at these, how cute. I wore these over the weekend after I bought them. They were so comfy. They're so cute. All right, and then now these just came today. These are by Dr. Scholl's. I got these at DSW. They are sold out on a lot of sizes in the white. Uh, I think they come in gray, maybe black, but with the same kind of white wedge here. Uh, but I thought, gosh, these would be so cute with like what I have on today. Um, romping around and they're Dr. Shoals and I love them so so cute. I'll list all the information below Oops. And my phone is ringing Let's See who it is All right, so I'll show you what I have on well, this is an old sweater, but I've just got this gray shirt on I can't remember it's like um 
cold shoulder with my um, kind of cello holy jeans. Oh, look at these boots. I forgot to show you these. I also got these last week. Oh my gosh. To take to Ann Arbor and I got these at DSW. Look at how cool these are, you guys. They come to the ankle, have a zip. I love them. Try to see from the side here. Can you see? Anyway, these are so super cute and so comfortable. Can you see? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, all the food ready and I'll show you what I'm making. Okay, I had to show you how super cute these are on. Look how cute. All right, and listen, if you guys order these, you wanna order a half a size down. I normally order like a seven and a half or eight. Normally, just about, I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time I get an eight. These are seven and a half fit perfectly. How cute, and they're so comfy. I love them. Okay, and real quick, here are the black ones. Aren't these so cute? I just love them. Actually, I'm gonna put these on and wear these today for my party because I'm gonna be in the kitchen for a while. They're gonna be cozy, I mean comfy. So here you go. Okay, so let's talk about what we're making today. And um, it's gonna be springy. I'm just so excited. I just love having people over and entertaining. Even though it's, when you do this simple entertaining, um, just make it fun, different, colorful, um, and festive. So I know it's the, Third day of spring, a little snow outside, but we all want it so bad, so I thought my theme's gonna be a little bit on the spring side, so let me show you. Okay, so what I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make these rainbow fruit cups with vanilla and honey. So here they are. I'm gonna whip these up, I think it's just with, actually I'm gonna use um, green grapes, red grapes, I'm gonna use some um, blueberries, and I'm gonna use uh, clementines and some raspberries that's what I'm going to use and um, okay so that will be for the dessert and actually I'm going to use these here I'm going to use the mason jars I think they're just so cute I love mason jars and I just love the little designs on them I think this will be perfect for my fruit okay and then the next thing I'm going to make let me show you here is a fresh basil punch now, I'm not gonna use basil, not fresh, it's strawberry basil punch. I'm not gonna use basil, I chose, I think I'm gonna go with mint. This is how pretty it looks. I'm gonna put this in a glass um, pitcher. It's gonna be beautiful, and I, I'll have some white wine to the side if anyone wants to add some wine. Oh, what the heck is Archie doing over there? Okay, then I'm also just going to, so anyway, here's the veggies. I'm gonna cut some veggies. I've got some other veggies in the fridge. Um, two types of hummus. Here's the mint I'm gonna use with the strawberries and the seltzer water. And then here is um, all the fruit that I'm gonna use in the little um, fruit cups and some little skinny popcorn. So I think we're staying pretty healthy here, girls. I'm gonna go ahead and get to work and get this stuff together. All right, I'm making the drink. That I have this, Instead of strawberries, I decided to use raspberries. I got raspberries, like I said, instead of the basil, I'm adding mint. It did call for sugar. I put a couple packages, packages of stevia in the raw. I'm gonna let this thicken up for a little bit. And I'm going to put it through a strainer and I'm gonna put some seltzer water, some limes, and some orange zest. Made some homemade pitas, a little olive oil, um, garlic powder, and some cayenne pepper. So we can use this with the hummus and I'll show you all the fruit that came out so pretty in the veggie trays when I pull them out here soon. All right, showed you guys how pretty these came out. I have each of them wrapped, but look how pretty. Oh my gosh, I love them, these mason jars. And I've got my veggies all wrapped on trays. And I've got my hummus. I'm going to put my hummus out, pull it out here soon. So, yeah, I'm getting ready. And then I'm just going to put some skinny pop in these bowls. And I'm again, I'm going to make my drink and put it right in this beautiful glass pitcher. So, we're getting set. Um, Amy should be here soon. She is the Norwax consultant. Wanted to show you guys how gorgeous this drink looks. Now I could put, I actually used all the raspberries to make the syrup. So I just put some fresh mint in here. Uh, I don't think I need to put any other berries. I think it's perfect. So, uh, because we're going to have so much fruit and veggies anyway. So, oh my gosh, looks so gorgeous and so pretty and springy and festive -y. So I hope it tastes good. <laughs> I'm sure it does. I, I, I just been sampling a little bit along the way and it just really looks so refreshing. So... Hopefully my guests will love it. All right, you guys, well, everybody just left, and I forgot to pull out the camera to share with you guys about these lovely rags, so I'll try to share with you this weekend. But um, here's one, one of the fruits was left, so the fruit came out so delicious and tasty. Of course, here is the drink. 
It was so good and refreshing. Uh, of course, the Vanderpump Rosé, it went. The girls loved it. I just had these pretty cups to put the, um, the punch in and then, of course, my wine glasses. So this is what's left from the party. So it was a lot of fun. We had a fun, fun night. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm actually at a stop sign here. I am getting ready to pull into a Debs, my trainers, for my workout this morning. Sorry, I got the heat on. It's cold, freezing cold, 21 degrees out. So I'm gonna go get my workout done for the day, and I'm not really not sure what we've got going on today, but I'm sure something fun tonight. So I'll check in here in a little bit, but happy Friday. All right, everybody. Does my hair look longer? I practiced. I actually put my extensions in just to see how I like this little bit of length. So it just adds a little bit, not much. It makes my hair look so much fuller. It's only four sections, so it really was so easy to put in. So I'm getting ready. I have to put my jewelry on yet. Our friends are going to come over here. We're going to have some snacks and stuff. And then we're going to just head out to, um, it's like a bar restaurant because the guys want to watch basketball tonight. So uh, we're just going to go somewhere we can watch basketball that has a lot of big TVs and has really good food too. So uh, we're going to head there a little bit later, but we thought we'd have everybody here first just because um, it's Friday night and I'm sure the place is going to be be so packed so we're not going to be in a hurry to get there so um, I got my off the shoulder I love this sweater from Grey Boutique I wore this at Lauren's surprise 50th party and uh, so I'm going to go and put those gray boots on that I had on yesterday I got my cello jeans on I'm going to pick out some jewelry and then um, just wait for our friends they should be here soon so I'll pull out the camera when we get to the restaurant tonight but uh, it's uh, been a pretty nice day a little chilly still and the, the snow is starting to melt yay and it probably by the end of the weekend hopefully it's, it will be all gone so i can't wait for that so i'll check in with you guys here in a little bit this is my dinner grilled salmon salad of course it's lent so no meat there you go let me grab your water and ice hi and good morning actually it's afternoon happy saturday um I just dropped Mark off, or actually Mark just went into his office, so I thought, you know what, I'll just take the car while he's getting stuff together, because, you know, um, he works on Sundays, and so he wanted to pick up some extra paperwork and stuff that he wanted to look at tomorrow. So I thought, well, while you do that, I'll run and get the car cleaned, and I'm gonna pick up a couple bottles of rosé, and then we're gonna head out to Cleveland, the friends that we go to Naples with. Um, we're all gonna get together for dinner tonight. So uh, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody. Gosh, it's been a while. So uh, we're gonna do uh, do that today and then spend the night there and then um, come home early in the morning and Mark will do his work. Uh, but I have a lot of stuff I wanna share with you guys yet tomorrow. I'm not gonna film tonight just because I haven't seen these guys in a while. I'm just gonna catch up. Uh, but tomorrow I'll go over to my Karen's Loves and a couple other things that I wanted to share with you. So uh, it is 41 degrees, warming up a little bit, sunny today. Got my cold shoulder turtleneck um, sweater on just because my, hopefully this will be one of the last times I get to wear it for the winter. And uh, my suede moto jacket. So uh, yeah, so it's gonna be a fun day today. I'm really looking forward to it. We had fun last night with our friends. So um, I'm gonna go get this car washed. It's really dirty. It was nice and clean before we got the snow this week, but Mark took it the one day because it was so bad out, but most of the snow has really melted away, so I'm so happy about that. So uh, if I find any kind of different kind of rosé, I'll share it with you. Maybe I'll check in one more time before we head to Cleveland. So um, yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, we're ready to head out. It's such a pretty day, so I'm looking forward to the drive and just catching up with our friends. So I'm really excited. So, I mean, I'm gonna bring my camera. I doubt if I'm gonna pull this out at all, but um, if I don't, you guys will know, <laughs> and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I forgot one more thing before we head out. Um, you know how much I am loving the Vanderpump Rosé. So we have a new place in town that I'm hoping that I talked into also getting that in stock. So um, I'm not sure if you guys even knew, but I know Lauren was vlogging last time I think we did this. But there's a place that's local called Chile Premier. And uh, they we went in and did like a little Insta story. And they loved it so much that they had asked us if we wanted to come in and collab with them. And uh, 
do like Insta stories with like different things that we're loving, like the Vanderpump Rose or just whatever. So we have done two so far with them. It's so much fun. Um, I will link both of their Instagram or their Instagram below. So if you guys want to check them out and see some of our Insta stories with them, but it is just so much fun. So it's nice because whatever we talk about, they sort of give us, which is cool. So um, just a new way of just sharing some new cocktails or new things that the orchids are loving. And uh, it's like, obviously giving them some business but it's it's a lot of fun too so i wanted to share that with you all right we're gonna hit the road good morning or actually i think it's afternoon it is <laughs> happy sunday we're home from cleveland we got in early this morning showered up and i just pulled into the grocery store i'm gonna get some groceries we had a lot of fun last night by the way um i'm gonna get some groceries when i have my in-laws over for just a very easy dinner tonight and i'm just gonna get stuff for the week uh and that's about it then i'm gonna go home i want to share with you my karen's loves get stuff together for this week for filming and of course it's easter this weekend next weekend coming up lauren was supposed to be vlogging um but she's hosting at her house and she just knew it'd just be too crazy so we're gonna skip next week so you're not gonna get a vlog next friday it'll be the following friday you'll um see lauren's so we're gonna enjoy the holidays with our families and uh, i will be doing a lot of insta stories though um easter weekend with all the stuff that we're doing as a family so if you guys want to just be up to date with what's going on and you're interested jump on insta stories all right so i'm gonna go inside get some groceries and then um i want to go over my karen's loves when i get back and a few other things all right i'm home from the grocery store I'm, mark was so sweet he helped put all the groceries away i'm gonna get my flowers in their vases and i decided i'm like sort of late here to the game but I was gonna try I'm not really a pop person but every once in a while I do like a Diet Coke so I'm gonna try these out I, I bought one of each the only one I didn't buy was the one that has like ginger in it I'm not a big ginger fan so I'm gonna try the twisted mango so I just wanted something nice and cool and refreshing all right I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy my mango drink hopefully I'll like it and um, just finish doing some laundry oh I gotta get my Karen's loves together so stay tuned <laughs> Thought I'd share with you guys. I just got two over the weekend. Um, this diffuser from Young Living. I love it. It's so pretty. Uh, it lights up. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse these together. Um, I, I read if you just uh, actually I'm missing one, which is bergamot, but oh well. <laughs> um, if you diffuse these together, it smells like spa like in the house. So I cannot wait to do this rosemary, lavender, yangling, orange, and peppermint. Like I said, bergamot was the other one that they suggested. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. I'm going to show you how pretty my flowers look. So I'm just trying to make the house look springy and smell springy, even though it is spring. And it's still a little chilly, but bring on spring is what I say. Bring on spring. Cannot wait. So I'm surely making it look springy in the house. And here's my tulips. It looks so pretty and springy. I love, you guys know how much I love my fresh flowers. And of course, this cute little face. Uh, Archie. All right, you guys. Well, I thought I would share with you before my in-laws come over for dinner my Karen's loves for this vlog. All right, so the first one is mascara. And to be quite honest with you, I think I love this more than the It Cosmetic Superhero. And this one is by Benefit. And this is the Bad Gale Bang Bang. I love this mascara. And let me show you the wand. Can you see that? Hard to see. I'm sorry if you can't see it. But I love it. Absolutely love it. This definitely, uh, I think, has taken, taken over first place for me. <laughs> All right, next is this blush, which it's been around for a while. It's by MAC, and I just happened to pull it out the other day because I just wanted to, you know, make my look look a little springier. So I have wore this th throughout the vlog. This one is by MAC. And it's called Petal Power, and I love this blush. When you put it on, it just makes your face so luminous. It's so beautiful. So uh, I don't remember how even, I bought this maybe a year or two ago, maybe last year, but it's a new love again for me, and especially this vlog. So Petal Power by MAC Blush. Okay, next, and I feel so bad. This is from one of you guys suggested this on, on um, Instagram as in, in that you 
messaged me, you DM'd me. And I can't remember. I'm so sorry because I get so many DM messages, you guys. It was so hard for me to go back and remember. But thank you to whoever you are. Thank you, thank you. The next is my jo it's a Josie Marin. It's the whipped argon oil. And this one is the vanilla bean. Oh my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. I love this stuff. I'm such a huge fan of Josie Marin anyway. I love her stuff. So, uh, yes, if you guys want a great body, whipped body kind of, what's an oil, uh, or the argon oil, smells so good. Oh my goodness, your skin feels wonderful. So, love that. And then my last one is something I talked about uh, in the beginning of my vlog, which were these. You guys, I'm telling you right now, if you want to be on trend <laughs> this summer, you've got to get these by Dr. Scholl's. I love the white wedge. I think they come in gray, maybe black. So just check it out online. Um, I will link two links below for you to um, hopefully be able to find these. But I love them. They are so cute and I love to wear these with um, my ankle kind of jeans with the rip. They look just so cool. I love it. All right, so those are my loves for the week. I'm gonna go ahead and get a salad made uh, because um, we ordered pizza. My in-laws are gonna pick it up. So I wanna have a nice healthy salad to eat alongside of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that made. Hey guys, I'm in my laundry room, so I thought I'd share these rags with you. Um, the company is called Norwax. And uh, what I bought, my three favorite things for them was like, I think called like the household package. It's a duster mitt. Oh my gosh, this thing really picks up the dust. And then these two rags, you wet the gray one. This one you can wipe down. My granite countertops, windows, mirrors. You don't need any, it's, you don't use any product, just water. And then this one you keep dry and then you just follow behind. I am telling you, your mirrors and windows will be spotless. My countertops were like glass. So, uh, I'm gonna show you these three again. I'll take a picture of them, but I'm telling you, for cleaning, all you need is these three. Love these. Hi everybody, my in-laws just left, so I'm just gonna start editing and up uploading and editing this vlog. So I just wanted to thank you guys so much for coming along with me as always. I just absolutely love you guys. Your support means the world to me, and I just cannot thank you enough. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful Easter celebrating with your families. You guys will be watching this Easter weekend, so I hope you enjoy that time around the dining room table celebrating with your loved ones. So um, until next time, take care, and thanks again for hanging out with me.